new videos every day. Hey, welcome. Do you like blogs? Do you know what they are? Do you use them? Do you read them? Chances are you probably do, and there's a lot of written information out there. I'm Chris at writebynight.net, and we're going to talk today about writing and social media, specifically blogs. How to use them, how to have them help you out, and just how to interact with them. First of all, if you decide to start blogging, you want a blog to represent you, you want to put your writing out there, you just want to have like a journal thing, whatever it is you want, basically just realize is the blog good for you? Is it, is it going to suit your purposes? And it will if you're looking for repeat exposure, uh, a, a forum to post maybe longer pieces, not too long, but long enough. If you want to do mixed media, if you just want to post things basically that you want a readership or an audience to connect with, possibly leave comments and to just generate more interest in you. So you realize you want to do a blog, you want to establish a readership, you want a, a forum for repeat postings about whatever it is you're writing about. You need, at this point, obviously to select a blog. And that's the great thing right now about blogging is that pretty much a majority of them are free. Unless you're really going for a professional end of things, you're just going to want to choose a free one. Uh, two examples of a great free site, Blogger, that's the Gmail, that's the Google version of blogging. It's very user-friendly. It allows you to mess around with the template. There's a lot of great widgets you can add to it. And then there's also WordPress, which is another great blogging media site that also allows you to mess around with the template a lot. And there's a whole online community there already connected through those two sites. So they're pretty good to start off with if it's your first time. And that's even more the point, too. Whenever you do choose a site, you look around, figure out whatever one makes sense to you. The great thing is that some of them have a high degree of manipulation of the template. So you can really make it look how you want it to look, how it represents you. That can be good or bad. If, if you do like a high degree of control, then go for ones like that. If maybe you're not so sure about the aesthetics, go for one that has pre-made templates, too. It's so basically just figure out how you want it to look, and then go to a site that accentuates that. So just to strengthen whichever your strengths or weaknesses are. So now you've chosen the blog, you got your template, picture of a cat, or whatever, whatever makes you happy. Start blogging. That's the main thing. You have a blog, just start blogging. However, the frequency you want to set up once a week, twice a week, every day, whatever you're comfortable with, but just try and stay consistent and just start blogging. And that's the other point, too. Start following other blogs that also update frequently. Try to add them as friends. Hopefully they'll add you as a friend. Just so you get your whole blogosphere, lovely word, you get that expanding around you, and then that's basically the point. Update, then all these friends on your friend list will see you've updated, they'll come back to your site, you follow them, you go back to their site, hopefully they'll leave comments, and it'll just be more exposure for your writing. And beyond just friending other blogs and having your blog friend list expand, you can also connect to your Facebook and your Twitter and other social media sites. Most blogs offer like a little widget in the editing section you can just badge onto your page. So now you can connect your blog to your Facebook profile. So people will see you through Facebook and they say, oh, here's this person's blog, and go straight to the blog, and also with Twitter. So it just becomes this way to get all these other social media to interact around your blog post, which is the reason you started blogging, so people read your post. So just, you get this whole world now of social media just surrounding this one thing, and it, it's great for exposure that way as well. You do have to keep in mind the golden rule, though, of the internet is it's, it's the internet, it's online now, and anybody can read it. So keep that in mind when you're about to post something. Maybe don't necessarily want to say how much you hate your boss. You know, Maybe don't want to say how sometimes you want to take a bomb on a plane. Things like this. I mean, no, it's common sense, guys, but it becomes real easy to forget that and just if you're frustrated, you post a frustrated post, you know. And I mean, that is more than just blogs. That's like Facebook and, and Twitter and all those things. So you just want to be a little mindful of what you're going to post because 
again, it's, it's kind of online. It'll be there for a long time, and people can see it and may judge you inappropriately for your inappropriate whatever. So just keep that in mind, guys. Last but not least, uh, blog, though, you know, the golden rule of the Internet, it's there. You can always stop whenever you want. You can start a new one. It depends on how many followers you had, how much exposure. Was it going well for you? You can take a break from it. It's not the biggest commitment unless you really want to commit to it. So that's the great thing about blogs. There's so many out there people don't even use or look at anymore. So don't ever feel pressured that you are stuck with this thing for life because you're not. And that's the great thing about it. Experiment, find what works for you, have a good time with it, and, you know, you're not married to it, so just have fun. Thanks for joining us today, guys, learning about blogs. Amazing. In future videos, however, we'll be talking about music and writing, finding your soundtrack for yourself. We'll also be talking about writing practices and warm-ups, and we will continue our series of writing and other media, and we'll be talking about writing and film. So if you like those, please do join us. If you liked this video, please leave us some comments. Blog about it, if you will, if you want. If you like the video, guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for all other writing inquiries, please go to writebynight.net. My name's Chris. It's been a pleasure.